Megan Parks with Exploring Parks here. So today I want to talk about rolling versus stuffing your sleeping bag. And depending on which bag you have, one or the other might work better for you. So we're going to work with a down sleeping bag and a synthetic sleeping bag and we'll measure out and see which is best. So when it comes to packing up your sleeping bag, you really want to decide what works best for you and your camping situation. If you're just throwing a sleeping bag into the car and you know going to a campsite, it might not be as big of a deal. But if you're backpacking, you really want to make sure that you can pack that sleeping bag up as small as possible. So I have seen people do it both ways. I've even tried it both ways. Sometimes I'm in a hurry. I just stuff it into the bag as quickly as possible. Other times I really want to be precise and make sure it's rolled up tightly. So let's decide which way is actually the best. So to start off with, I'm going to show you my process for rolling the sleeping bag and then also for stuffing, which is a little more straightforward. But for rolling, usually I start with just laying the sleeping bag out, making sure that it's zipped up. This will help protect the zipper while it's inside the bag and make it a little more compact. After it's laid flat, zipped up, I roll it in half. If you have a mummy sleeping bag, you'll just take that top shoulder section and kind of fold it over so it looks like a rectangle. Just do the best you can. It's not a big deal if it's not perfect. Once it's rolled in half, it's a good idea to run your arm along the sleeping bag from the toe box up to the opening. This will help eliminate any extra air that's inside that bag and it will help it pack up more tightly. Once you start rolling your bag, you wanna start at the bottom from the foot section and you'll make small tiny rolls until you roll all the way up to the top. Make sure to hold it as tightly as possible to ensure that no extra air is getting back into the bag. Now that it's fully rolled up, it's time to put it into its stuff sack or storage bag. So, Sometimes you have to sit down on the ground Indian style and like hold that sleeping bag tight between your legs as you're trying to put that bag around it. If you've rolled it up tightly enough, hopefully it's not that hard, but regardless, you just wanna make sure you get it securely inside of the storage bag. Now I'm going to quickly roll up the down sleeping bag and we'll measure what the pack sizes are. The measurements for the synthetic sleeping bag are 12 inches by 10 inches and the measurements for the down sleeping bag are nine inches by 11 inches. When you're stuffing a sleeping bag, it's a lot easier, but I do start off the same way. So I go ahead and I zip it up, make sure it's laid out nice and flat to protect the zipper. And then I use my arm to kind of rub along the whole sleeping bag to make sure any extra air is pushed out of it from the foot box up to the head. Now it's time to start stuffing your sleeping bag. So you will start by putting the foot box into the bottom of the storage bag, and then you'll slowly stack the bag down into your storage bag until the entire bag fits. Then you've successfully stuffed your sleeping bag. If you have compression straps or anything, you can tighten them at this point. But now you are finished stuffing your sleeping bag. I was surprised with the results for the stuffed sleeping bags. The measurements for the down was smaller, 8 inches by 9 inches, and the synthetic was actually larger, 11 inches by 13 inches. So there you have it. So between rolling and stuffing the sleeping bag, I actually had different results for the synthetic versus the down. So you might need to check your sleeping bag both ways and decide which is going to be better for you. So the down sleeping bag was larger when I rolled it compared to when I stuffed it. And the synthetic was larger when I stuffed it compared to when I rolled it. So in theory, I guess I would be rolling the synthetic and stuffing the down sleeping bag to get the best size for the sleeping bag pack. I hope this video helps you figure out the best way to pack up your sleeping bag and know that you have some options. If you're looking for more tips, tricks, reviews for camping and other adventures, please check us out at exploringparks.com and subscribe to this channel. Thanks guys, keep exploring.